Well, here's a coaching session on what to do if you're on a run, you're in a race, or you're doing a workout that's critical for you, and it's just not working for you. So here's how I coach people through these situations. First of all, take a break, usually an extra walk break, uh, but mainly a chance to focus mentally and to get in your frontal lobe instead of that darn monkey brain. Secondly, re-look at the rest of the workout or the race and break it up into small segments and just run one segment at a time. If the segments you've been doing, such as running a minute and walking 20 seconds, uh, weren't working for you, then drop down to 40 seconds and 20 or something shorter than that. Uh, I've used uh, 30 seconds run, 15 seconds walk to qualify for Boston. There are a lot of changes, but once you start changing things up in a positive direction, you can get momentum, mental momentum going again. Next, figure out if there are certain things that you can change about your stride length or your breathing or the way that you're approaching competitors around you and make those adjustments too. It's all about staying in the frontal lobe and having a strategy because once you do that, you're in control over what you do for the next few minutes and the remaining miles in the race. You can do it. Well, let's talk about some updates. First of all, we have uh, a new watch band for the timer. And as you can see, it uh, looks pretty spectacular here on the wrist and holds the watch, the timer. The Galloway timer in place. It is really a neat product. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks. Second big news is that the low low fit apps that have my training for 5k, 10k, half and full now have shorter segments. The segments that we are recommending now. So if you haven't been able to dial in your segments because they, uh, the segments were too long, go to low low fit dot com and look at the Galloway apps there. I also want to tell you about a great new multimedia coaching session with me preventing injuries and how to stay away from injuries. I get into all the various aspects about how you can get injured and then very specific things that you can do that have kept people away from injuries and I'm very proud to say that for over 37 years now I've not had an overuse running injury, so find out the secrets. My son Brennan and I put this together and I'm very proud of it. 